All right, this is a video to show how to guarantee that you are fully dimensioning the portions of your vehicle that are gonna to connect to other pieces. As you can see right now, all the lines are blue and that's not good. So let's fix that. So I'm gonna right click, edit sketch. Now, the very first thing you wanna do is make sure you're dimensioning a, one of the points along the bottom to the origin, okay? Uh, so you, you actually, before you even do that, I can see these lines are are not perfectly horizontal. You might just want to simplify your design by making them horizontal. And the design still looks relatively the same. Now, I'm going to pick a point along the bottom because the bottom I can see is going to connect to another piece, probably the base of the car. So I'm going to start where the lines are flat. So right here, this first point. And I'm going to dimension that first point to the origin. And it doesn't really matter what that value is. Immediately, you can see a line turn black. I'm also going to dimension that point horizontally to the origin. If you're having trouble getting the horizontal dimension, go in between the two points and drag straight up, or go in between the two points and drag to the side. That'll give you the vertical. So there's my horizontal dimension. Okay. And now I cannot move this point if I try to drag it. Oh, I can. Oh. Well, the fact that I can drag means it doesn't have a specific dimension. So I would undo what I just did, control Z, and I might throw in a dimension from this point to this point and lock that dimension in. Now at this point, I cannot drag this dimension. Now, or this point, I'm sorry, I cannot drag this point. Now you might notice that the, the circle itself, it's not in a circle, it's an arc. All right, an arc is defined by two things, its size and its location. First, you need to put a dimension on the arc itself. And that's the radius of the arc. And then if you notice, it's still blue because it doesn't have a location. Is it up here? Is it down here? Right, control Z. So you need to locate the arc. And the way you do that is by locating the center. And the way you locate the center is by dimensioning to the last black point you have. And you need both a horizontal and a vertical dimension. So I'm going to turn on my dimension tool and click from that point to the center of the arc and put both a horizontal and a vertical dimension on it. Now it's saying that I don't need a vertical dimension just to play it safe. I'm going to put one on there anyway. Okay, that's going to show the exact location of the center of that arc. And now you can see I've, most of my the bottom portion is turning black. That's good. But if you're wondering why something is not black, you can simply highlight it and left click, hold down the left button and drag. If I'm able to drag it, it's in need of a dimension, right? If you can drag it left and right, you need a horizontal dimension. If you can drag it up and down, you need a vertical dimension. So let's go ahead and put that dimension since the last point, last known location, okay? Right, and then you would continue doing this. Do one more, just for an example. If I can drag this up, that means I don't know the height of this line relative to this line. So I'm gonna click both of those, and I need to put on a dimension here. I'm not saying this dimension is correct. I'm just showing you how to put on a dimension. And try as best you can to remove your dimensions from your shape. So when the bottom portion of your uh, design that connects to the base is black, you know you're done. And you want to transfer those dimensions to your paper sketch as well. Now, as you can see, this hole right here has neither a size, specific size, nor a specific location. So it needs a lot more information to show exactly how big that slot is and exactly where that slot is.